the Jason Burke Maiden Chase is next. This is the only four mile race this week. And it's a maiden. Uh, not that many returners either. Five all at the top for Leon Van Rensburg. Friendly vantage for Darren Thompson. The ironical Harold for Grand Cross, but was around last season, but didn't manage a win. King of Windsor, Alex Cherry. Matador, Martin Leland. Settler, Craig Beckwith. Amanda, Matt Cooper. Dino Wager, David Robertson. Dottie Darrock, Martin Cairns. Ideal Art, David Hooley. National Madam, Joshua Sutherland. And the meanest cat for Padre Hogan. So a field of 12. And away they go. Making their way towards the first of the 25 fences in this four mile marathon as they get to it. Oh, nicely over it, although a mistake at the back by Dottie Derrick. And it's King of Windsor who's settled down into the lead then. So King of Windsor from the meanest cat. And National Madam on the inside in the black and red hoops of Joshua Sutherland. Always gets the name National into his long distance horses. We've lost one there already. Dino Wager's gone. So Dino Wager's gone for David Robertson. Leaves with just 11 then. And King of Windsor has opened into a three or four length lead. The only grey in the field, Matador, just showing its head into second as they get to this ditch. And another one's gone. Friendly Vantage has gone this time. So Darren Thompson has lost his as well. So two of the big guns are out. And Alex Cherry leads with King of Windsor in the blue with the orange sleeves. Then Joshua Southerners National Madam in the black and red hoops is just showing second now from the meanest cat of Patrick Hogan in the yellow and black. And Graham Clutterbox ironical Harold who's got the experience. Skips over that one, came second in his first race last season, so it was great. I'll hope, be hoping it goes one better this season. On the outside of that one is Matador in the purple and white stripes as they get over the fifth, which they're all safely over. Then Ideal Arts after that one in the all purple jacket with Settler for Craig Beckwith with the white sleeves next. And then Amanda for Matt Cooper. Marty Cairns on the outside, Dottie Darrock. And finally, Firelord with Leon Van Rensburg at the back. So they're past the stand and they're over the, this fence that now leads them away to the downhill part of the track. Stiff four mile test this uh, toaster. So it'll be a bit of a clue as to whether your horse will get the national trip. He's running on one at the end there. He's probably got a good chance of being up in the mix at Aintree, but it's King of Windsor who's in the lead. National Madam in second. And then the meanest cat and matador as they get over this ditch. And we'll safely over it as we take a look at them from the airship. And King of Windsor are out four lengths clear. Oh, National Madam in second. Matador the ground here, sort of the meanest cat. Ironical Harold trying to go between them as they come to this plain one. And there's a fall there. Martin Kennedy horse has gone. Dotty Derrick. Now that one's out now, so we've lost three already. We've still got a, about two thirds of the jump in to do. Uh, King of Windsor. Still in a sensible sort of pace for a four mile up. With National Madam clear second, Matador the Grey third, the meanest cat in the yellow jacket fourth. And ironical Harold. Gather a couple of lengths then to Amanda and Settler together as they take the next. So they all skip over nicely. Fire Lord has taken its time at the back. Into the tenth they go. All nicely over it. And Fire Lord is beginning to struggle at the back. Bit of a surprise to see a Leon van Rensburg horse struggling at the back, especially one which appears to be as well bred as that being a sort of fire memorial. We all remember from a couple of seasons ago. He jumped that one really nicely. There's now back in touch and maybe Chucky just giving him a bit of a breather there's still an awful long way to go of course over two miles still to travel and they're at the 12th now which they're all safely over and King of Windsor continuing to lead by two or three lengths to the grey matador has just poked his head into second and the meanest cat third as National Madam just being given a bit of a breather on the inside ironical Harold is coming up around the outside to take a much closer position as they take this next ditch and there's a faller there, it's ironical Harold that's gone so bit of a surprise there the
potential four more than the rest with the experience you'd have expected that one to be in the mix but it's out so Graham Clutterbox charge has now gone as well so lost four of them and King of Windsor is the leader from National Madam second Matador third and the meanest cat fourth and Amanda and a bit of a gap forward has now made a bit of ground has gone past two that's settler and ideal art so maybe we or me wrote that one off a little bit too soon King of Windsor we'll lead them over the next that will be the final fence on the next circuit and we've now almost got three in a line as they pass the post with a circuit to go and in fact National Madam now just pokes her head in front first time that King of Windsor has been overtaken all over that nice one nicely with King of Windsor on the inside of National Madam. Gap of two and a half lengths or so then to Matador, the grey in third. Amanda is after that one and the meanest cat. And a gap of two or three lengths again to Ideal Art, Fire Lord and finally Settler. We wouldn't rule any of these out at the moment. And they're racing downhill towards the next. Uh, National Madam has now gone into the lead at this ditch. Skips over it well. Come on. King of Windsor in second. The meanest cat and Amanda have now both gone past Matador. Ideal Art is also making significant progress as they feel they're definitely beginning to bunch as they take this next plain one. And the leader really attacked that well and got away from it well and has opened up now by four lengths. National Madam or Joshua Sutherland. We have the King of Windsor back in second. Meanest cat is third. Then Ideal Art and Amanda. Matador. The one that's just lost its place a little bit. Final corner up around that one's outside, and the back marker settler is not that far off the lead. But National Madam is that leader. They're inside the final mile now. This is the 19th. And over it they all go. They all jumped it nicely. With National Madam, three lengths clear. Off the meanest cat, ideal art on the outside is making a forward move. King of Windsor is still there. Amanda's also running a big race as they get over the 20th. Then Matador, Fire Lord trying to get into it. Settler just being scrubbed along at the back. National Madam over the fifth from home. Good jump there by the meanest cat in second. Matador's moved back into third. Ideal Art was the one that made the mistake on the outside. Now King of Windsor is starting to struggle. Here comes Fire Lord on the outside as they get over the fourth from home. And it's the meanest cat who's gone on from Fire Lord. Fire Lord hits the front. Setter who was last a minute ago. He's now coming round the outside. The complete race has changed completely then now as they come towards the final three fences. And it's Fire Lord who's gone into the lead from Settler in second. The meanest cat is third. They come to the third last. The final ditch over it they go. And it's the Fire Lord who's clear in front. Fire Lord is two lengths clear, but the meanest cat is trying to fight back surely between the these two as they come to the final two. It's Fire Lord in front from the meanest cat in second. National Madam looking one pace now back in third as they race towards the home turn with two to take. It's Fire Lord in the lead. Meanest cat is in second. These are clear of National Madam Matador. Settler and Ideal Art as they race towards this second last fence. Fire Lord is in front from the meanest cat in second. Fire Lord a slower jump. Meanest cat jumps it better and jumps into the lead. It's the meanest cat who's gone on from Fire Lord in second. The meanest cat's in front. Fire Lord is trying to fight back, Meanest Cat looks strong they come down to the final offence, it'll all come down to the jump, and the Meanest Cat gets over it well, jumps away from it well as well and it's the Meanest Cat in the lead from Fire Lord in second, and racing up the hill towards the line, it's going to be the Meanest Cat that's going to take the four mile maiden, Fire Lord is going to be second, then National Madam will be third, Matador run on to be fourth and then Ideal Art and Settler and Amanda and finally, the early leader King of Windsor the Meanest Cat has taken it and will take an early position an anti-post favourite for the National with that win and then we'll get to see which ones will come back from next season but the meanest cat takes it for Patrick Hogan Fire Lord second for Leon Van Rensburg National Madam for Joshua Sutherland was third Matador for Martin Lee was fourth and Ideal Art for David Hooley was fifth